guys, welcome back to Salesforce in under five. It's been a while, I'm sorry, but here we are and we're back. So today we're gonna to be describing the capabilities and use cases for formula fields. So a formula is a calculation derived from a rule or procedure, and this calculation can use a function, a literal value, an operator, or all of the above. So a function would be a predefined formula that takes an argument and returns a value. Those of you familiar with um, Java or C++, you're familiar with functions, or if you're familiar with Excel, you're familiar with functions. Um, a literal is a fixed value, such as a string that never changes, like the, or a fixed number. And an operator represents an action that's often um, some sort of arithmetic, like addition or subtraction or multiplication. So like I mentioned before, uh, a function in, or a formula is similar to an Excel or a spreadsheet formula. So um, you can get the absolute value of a number, or you can hyperlink a specific text, or you can nest an if statement or a couple of if statements, or you can get the sum of two numbers. And formulas can be used in Apex, Visual Force, Validation Rules, uh, or reports. Here's a few examples of a formula. So let's say we wanted to calculate uh, the down payment. So we wanted to get 10%. Well, we would have a function along the outside, uh, in this case called round, which um, takes an amount and returns uh, the nearest value, so the nearest tenth or hundredth. In the middle of the function, we have the amount here. And then we have an operator, which is the multiplication, and we have our literal value, which is 10%. So we're rounding up the amount times 10% to get 10% down payment. Or let's say we wanted a formula to calculate the number of days between two dates. We can use a function, the system function called today, which basically just returns today's date and subtract the number of days of the day that uh, something was created. And this would give us the days between these two dates. Or we can do something simple like check for a null value. The isNull function returns uh, a yes if the value is null, or a false if the value is not null. In Salesforce, we often use formulas in formula fields. And a formula field uses formulas and derives its value from other fields, expressions, or values and returns the output as a read-only field. So this can be displayed on a page layout or used in reports or actually used in other formulas. And it can utilize fields on the object it's created on or it can reference parent objects uh, from the child object and span up to 10 relationships. So let's say that we had a field on the contact and we wanted to pull the in, in the account website. Well, we can use this formula using dot notation, grab the account, and grab the account's website. Or let's say we had something a couple parent objects away. So we had a custom object called job application that had a parent object called candidate. And from the candidate record, we'd grab the first name. A formula field is created just like any other custom field, and it could have a variety of different data types depending on the value that needs to be returned. There are checkbox, currency, date, date time, number, percent, text, and time. A common error is for the formula output to be different than the field data type. So you can't display the number of days in a time field or the account name in a number field. You'll return an error. So how we build these formulas is what's using the formula builder. And you'll encounter this whenever you create a new formula field. And again, formula fields are created just like any other custom field through the setup menu. So like I mentioned before, the formula builder is encountered when creating a formula field. And the user can type any necessary fields or use the point and click selection, uh, this menu here, to bring in the correct field and function. 
The formula builder contains pre-built and common functions and helpful information about the purpose and return value of each. And the formula builder also allows for checking syntax and debugging formula issues. So I'm sorry guys, that was a little bit over five, but I hope you learned something today. Here are some of the resources I use and that can help you. You know, again, I'll post all these links in the description so that you can utilize them. Thanks.